Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K. and this is uh, the second half of October 2019, Career and Finance, Love and Romance, Spiritual Guidance Reading. Uh, today is the 17th of October, so we will ask Spirit to provide us with clearly defined messages and guidance on into and through the 17th to the 31st of October 2019. So I'm going to be using the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burston and Chiro Marsetti. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless me with clearly defined messages regarding whichever Gemini I'm reading for and their current journey here on Earth. Please provide them with clarity regarding spiritual guidance messages. All right. In the center of the circle spread with the Tarot of Dreams deck, we've got the Emperor right off the bat. So I don't know if you guys are dealing with someone who has Aries in their chart and or you're just feeling like the Emperor, right? You're looking at your journey ahead and you have the strength right now to get clear, organized, logical, disciplined, focused and determined as to how you're going to create your journey ahead. The next chapter of your life, the year, for example, of 2020. So that's from the 17th. I almost feel like that's going to be the energy around you during the whole second half, Gemini, of October 2019. Now, in your thoughts position, um, there are beautiful energies. The Palace of Cups is about allowing the ebb and flow of life, going with the flow, communicating kindly with others, uh, maybe wanting to communicate with another as part of this next chapter of your life. For some Geminis. Now, in the relationship sector, there are the two of swords energies of indecision or a difficult decision. Okay. So it is time in the relationship sector in relation to other people. However, this applies where this indecision is at. It's time to take off the blindfold, cut away from what isn't working in your life. Anything negative, negative thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints, outlooks, and perspectives, and to instead uh, clearly honor your truth and where it is you'd like to go towards next, what it is you want to create in the name of victory for yourself in relation to others. Okay, so from the 17th to around the 24th of October 2019, we have the chariot. In your creative aspects position, Gemini, this means spirit with this major arcana is going to help to guide you into the greatest path of success. They want you to be clear and organized and logical about how you're going to make things ebb and flow and come out of indecision when it comes to others, at least uh, mid-October to maybe the 25th of 2019. For spirit with the chariot energies is trying to guide you into um, some form of path of success. And now I'm looking at these blue cards here that are coming together. Some may be receiving communication or wanting to communicate with someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, and that's where the indecision lies. So in your actions position, Gemini, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, you have the eight of coins. You're being nudged to learn more, to research more about what it is you are doing in the area of career, finance, money, creativity. For as you research uh, what it is you enjoy in your life is you get clear, organized, logical, disciplined, focused, and determined, and go with the flow, trusting that spirit's got your back with the chariot. Some of you may be opening up to someone who has cancer in their chart, which is uh, represented here by the major arcana chariot. Now, emotionally, by the last week of October 2019, Gemini, you are in your element. You've come a long way. You know your truth. You're not afraid to speak your truth. As you set new goals and intentions for yourself, uh, you may be real intense about your boundaries with another, and that's okay as long as you speak kindly, uh, fairly, and justly. Okay, so in your subconscious position, you've got the major arcana of the world. Beautiful. So uh, as you are setting goals and meeting goals and contemplating if you're going to stay or go in some form of partnership, employment, other people in some way, Know that uh, as you test out different theories, ideas, again, research the area of creativity or finance, 
Uh, know that the Wheel of Fortune is bringing something to a completion and is going to be opening a portal of a new beginning through what it is you are learning more about, researching, maybe uh, signing up for an apprentice position so you can decide, is this the path I want to go towards in the area of creativity, finances, or career? Because Spirit's got your back, actually with two major arcanas here, helping for you to get clear, organized, logical, disciplined, focused, and determined to travel or move into the path of success. So you got spirits, got your back. What you're thinking about is what you were meant to do. So in your inner strengths position, you may be thinking back to your childhood. You may be thinking about someone connected to and or tied to your past. But spirits saying, get back in touch with that playful child within. Think about what it is you've always wanted to do for the long term so that maybe at some point you could create a family and a life and etc. So keep your heart open to that. For beautiful blessings are transpiring for you as long as you exude uh, positive thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Have faith in spirit that what you are putting your energy into, so too shall you receive a blessing. So it's about setting goals and meeting goals and setting goals and meeting goals in an excited way, planning to start a new chapter in your life, communicating out with others positive messages. Feeling a little bit stuck or trapped, but Spirit saying we're going to guide you into an exciting new direction. So things may feel heavy throughout the second half of October 2019, but listen to your intuition as you honor your truth and connect with some form of building or organization. For as you do, look at this, the palace of coins and money. You're going to learn a lot about how far you've come and you are now able to pack up those coins and move into greater abundance. And right behind that is the light at the end of the tunnel. This is what I want to do. This is what I was meant to do. This is going to bring me greater abundance. Beautiful second half of October 2019, Gemini. All right. So for clarification, I'm bringing in the Spirit Animal Deck by Colette Baron reed so we have the, oh my gosh, coyote spirit. So from the 17th to around the 20th, uh, something beautiful is magically happening or it feels magical. As you get clear, organized, logical, disciplined, focused, and determined to create an empire for yourself, right? This new direction for yourself. Trust and have faith with the coyote spirit. That divine timing is at work and that spirit will shift you into the proper direction. In your thoughts, you have the wombat spirit. Uh, living very comfortably in your own skin as you communicate kindly with others or receive kind communications with others throughout the second half of October 2019. In relation to others, you've got the brown bear spirit energies. Here you are with the two of uh, swords with the energies of indecision and spirit is saying it's time to take a time out in the area of relationship because there is something in your life that is supposed to be transpiring at this time. And that's about bringing a completion, trying to maybe control who and or where you go or connect with or do to just trusting that spirit will give you the signs and synchronicities. Kind of like the green light of it's time now in the creative aspects position to take this chariot and to, tr to travel into the path of success for you will have the energies of the skunk spirit creatively. You're going to know your worth. Beautiful. Okay, so by the last week of October 2019, you've gone from uh, contemplating day to day, which path should I take, which uh, creative project or job do I want, researching, and having the strength of the seahorse energies in the actions position to just watch and wait. Again, whatever energy you put your, whatever you, you put your energy into, there will be karmic results. So emotionally, you guys are in your element. You're pretty clear about what you want. You're very decisive about where you want to go towards. You have the giraffe spirit by the end of October 2019, able to see the pic big picture, where you stand, where you are headed, who you are connecting with. That may be a divine connection. Maybe as soon as the 17th to the 25th, someone who's in a leadership position owns their own business and or could have Aries in their chart. 
Look at that. Subconsciously, with the major arcana of the world, Gemini, something's going full circle. And with the koala, koala spirit, there's something wonderful that's happening. A new path that is opening up through your efforts, through your research, that is going to be positive, but that spirit will not reveal as of yet. So day to day, it's about checking out new businesses, situations, circumstances, researching the journey ahead in the area of creativity and or finance. Knowing day to day that you have the eagle spirit, meaning that spirit is at your back. As you know your worth and you travel into new directions, trust in divine detours. For you're going to come into connection with someone who owns their own business or is in a leadership position of sorts, and they're going to teach you a lot. So, but just wait, wait, okay? There may be some healing regarding the past or you're just thinking about things in the past and Spirit's giving you the strength to shift your perspective to the here and now because there is a rebirth transpiring for you. Like learning about yourself in the past and now taking what you've learned to make higher, better decisions on your own behalf by researching, by observing, by maybe traveling um, and communicating so that you can bring energy back towards you through another. For there will be a divine detour that's going to help you to build on a solid foundation in your life. Beautiful reading, Gemini. All right. So I'm going to close by pulling one card from the Sacred Rebels deck by Alana Fairchild. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless this Gemini that I'm reading for during this general reading with clearly defined messages representing the second half of October 2019. Someone else just got this. I don't know if it was Leo. It may have been. Now is the time in the second half of October 2019, Gemini, to dream a beautiful dream. 19 is about endings. I learned something and I have grown spiritually to a higher level of self-understanding. And now I'm going to allow, as I share who I am with the world, the ability for me to receive knowledge from others, guidance from others, offers from others in the second half of October 2019. So Spirit is saying, in the meantime, relax in the hold of the darkness, for the darkness is where we are after we have completed a journey so that we can uh, recognize what we've learned. And now in the darkness, it's also before a new path so that we can recognize how far we've come and prepare for a higher, better, more fulfilling journey ahead. So relax in the darkness and be at pause. Research and maybe sign out up for an apprenticeship. And in the meantime, make sure you take time to rest and replenish because there's a moment of pause before things really get moving. And then by the end of October, maybe early November, you're going to have the spirals of manifestation, the ability and the desire to take what you're learning, to learn from others, and to manifest a beautiful dream come true. Beautiful message. Oh, my goodness. So to close, this card means finding beauty and harmony amongst the chaos of change. Now is a time to dream and to create. Now you can, you will be finding healing potential after challenges or through challenges in your life. So you become stronger. There's a situation in your life right now where you feel uncertain about your ability to fix or heal it. You may lack the inspiration to be able to imagine it differently than how it currently seems to be. You may therefore feel inhibited by your ability to bring about constructive change in your life. We need to accept the existence of inner harmony in all creation, even if it cannot be consciously observed by expecting there to be beauty within a situation, even if it's hidden, like we talked about. Know that subconsciously something beautiful is hidden and will come forth towards you. If you take action to research or learn more about something, then you will be more open to seeing the healing potential, even the challenges in your life. Because it's the challenges that teach us the most and that we remember. All right, so should these messages resonate for you and you'd like more information about your own personal energy and the energy that will be available to you in your future, 
um, feel free to write me at my email, which is dozyk42 at gmail.com. Um, I offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below. I am still offering the fall, winter fall special, whichever, um, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you who have donated to keep this channel up and running. Take care and God bless.